What is up everybody? It's the Inhuman One here with part 4 of the Death's Door playthrough. And the last stream, we defeated the Frog King and we gained a new ability as well. We're going to go back to the summit in this stream and we're going to hopefully face off with the, uh, the Beast from the West. So once we find out who that Beast is and where he or she is hiding, we're going to face off with them. So... Let's see here. I guess the first thing to do would be to head back to the Spirit of Groves, or the Grove of Spirits. <laughs> Said that backwards. And at some point in time, we are going to do a, uh, a sort of cleanup run. I am going out of town this weekend, so I need to do my best to complete the game. Obviously, the Grove of Spirits was not the correct area. I meant to go to the Lost Cemetery. That'll take us to the summit. And once we're at the summit, we'll talk to the old crow, and he should tell us where to go. So now we've made it to the Lost Cemetery. And then we just got to take a few shortcuts to get to the summit as quickly as possible. I don't know how much the uh, the bomb is going to allow us to traverse You know, over here. Like, what more exploration we're going to be able to do on this side of things. I don't remember seeing too many... Um, like blocks barricading off a path or something. Let's see. We're going to go up. I think he's over here somewhere. I think the next area is probably going to give us the uh, the grappling hooks. The grappling hook or whatever it, whatever it is that allows us to connect to the uh, to those crosses that we've seen all over the place. Climb up. And this is the witch's area over here. The rusty key area over there. And we are at the summit. Let's talk to this old gray crow. Another astounding victory. I'm impressed by your courage and vigor, fledgling. Once again, I reiterate, I have been stuck here for such a long time and accomplished so little in comparison to you. You have given this old crow hope for the first time in many, many years. Just one more giant soul and we can open death's door. Oh, I, I kind of remember that place. I suggest you head west. Atop the mountain you will meet an ancient beast of untold years. Alrighty. See, technically, like this way is east and the map. So north should be where the old crow is, or the gray crow is, but it's really not. Because... Somehow this is north, which means I guess this would have to be west somewhere over here, but I am confusion. It's got to be in this general direction. I think there was that giant keyhole place in the mountain. Let me see here. The stranded sailor. I think the passageway was up here as well, though. The Stranded Sailor is where we found, I think, Jefferson or Jeffrey or whatever the heck his name is. And I believe it's actually just a, uh, a squid that is kind of uh, using a human as a marionette. Let's see. Okay, so... He did point in this direction, so I'm assuming there's going to be some walls we can blast through. We've already broken through those... Uh, those crates before. Can't enter that area just yet. Yeah, we're going to end up being right by the Stranded Sailors area again, which is fine. There's going to have to be some, you know, blocks or whatever uh, preventing us from moving forward because otherwise we could have gotten, maybe we couldn't just go anywhere we wanted and we just went the long way. I imagine the intended path is the Witch of the Urns, or Urn Witch, whatever her name is, and then the Frog King next, but who knows? Because I've just been following the direction of the Grey Crow. I don't know if that's the actual, the only order we can take. Look at this. Hey, because we saved uh, the clever Grunt. You received the Grunt's old mask, the mask he didn't want to wear. <laughs> It seems this gl grunt is loyal to a new leader now. What's up, man? Hello again, little bird. 
Me come far and wide, see many thing. World outside, very beautiful. Love, laugh, live. That all grunt want. Atta kid. Alright, so let's take a look at the, uh, the shiny things we just obtained. We've got the grunt's old mask. This mask is carved to resemble the frog king. Many of the grunts that inhabit this land are feeble of mind, des desiring a leader to give them purpose. They often show loyalty by making and wearing a mask in their image, such as the unwavering bond between grunt and leader that almost resembles a cult. Let's go back up to the noodle shop. And let's see what uh, Jefferson has to say. He gave us secrets last time, or hints towards secrets. More customers float by each day. Word must be spreading about my delicious fish head soup. Lots of them ask me, hey, J-Man, my, my guy, my pal, what's with that sweet looking cephalopod on your back? And I tell them straight. It's a neat backpack which I fashioned for myself out of an old tarp. I use my opposable thumbs, which are things that I definitely have. See, I told you, Jefferson's actually the cephalopod. And the man that he's, is probably the old captain, he died. And he's just using his body as a puppet. They're always very impressed. Now, could I prepare any sustenance for you, my fellow land dweller? That's why he's always really emphasizing, like, using his thumbs, his hands, and, and he's a biped and things like that. All of the things that he are not. One delicious meal coming right up. I sure do love preparing food with my multi digital mammal hands. And then we're going to grub. We're going to throw away the chopsticks like we did last time. We'll start digging in. Let's see what secrets he gives us. Now let me tell you a little something while you ingest nutrients. To the west of the cemetery, behind a rock, you will find a passage. But it will require some kind of powerful force of explosion to break open. Excellent. A secret lies submerged beneath the moat in the estate of the Urn Witch. He told me this last time. Opening it required bringing an open flame to the East Gardens. There's a lot going on in the witch's basement, even before you reach the inner furnace. A stray bull carriage may grant you access to its secrets. Okay, cool. So those are still the same three secrets. They did add that first one. Um, it's funny that he serves uh, like tentacles in his soup, considering he's a uh, cephalopod. A little ironic. I guess we can go check over, over here, see if there's anything just off screen. There is not. Let's see what this says. Hopefully this is the passageway. This is the way to the mountaintops via Castle Lockstone. What about over here? Oh, I can't go anywhere. Okay. So it must be this way then. The mountaintops. Barb the Bard. Well, well, hello there, fellow traveler. Go on, tell all. How's your adventure going? Got any exciting tales I could knock out a song about? Reason being, I'm up in these here mountains seeking inspiration for my next masterpiece. I heard a monster lives up in these mountaintops. Can you believe it? That drunk fella outside the stranded sailor says he's lost his love to the beast. Fancy that. The way I see it, there's got to be one heck of an epic ballad awaiting me up ahead. If only I could smash up these blasted rocks blocking the path. Oh, I think I've got just the thing. He's happy. I'm happy. We're happy. We got a little life seed over here. Let's check the leftermost pathway first. Oh, I can break these. Nice. Nothing back here? And they grill back. That's no fun. Uh, that's probably where they want us to go. Okay, perfect. So we're going to come down. That's the intended path to the uh, that castle. Go up here. And it looks like there was a shrine, but I don't know if I can do anything with this one just yet. Nothing over here. And I can't get up on top, so no worries. This is the last little path we can check over here. gargoyle up there and a path I can jump down 
We'll push this lever. That's going to drop down one of these ladders. Don't know which one. We'll jump down again. Push the... Oh, I could have done that. Dang it. I'll do that next. We're going to grab this soul energy mass. We're going to climb up this ladder, and then we're going to slam down. We'll break through these so that we can have a clean path. Hiya! All right. Here we go. Oh, we gotta do the dun 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 dun. I completely forgot to do it, but we got the shrine. This is our fifth shrine, technically, so a uh, magical shrine that is. So I think we're gonna start a new set of shards. This ancient shrine offers you a shard from a magical crystal or magic crystal. Collecting four will raise your magic capacity beyond its limits. So we at least know there's another one. Great, great, great. And then we got this fellow. Looks like the Lord of Doors almost. And where might I be now? Oh, okay. Just a little shortcut. I see. All right, off we go. So we got a few life seeds, a few uh, soul energy masses. That's great. I would like to get the rest of these life shards. That would be awesome. There's nothing there. I'm just so OCD. I want to break all those. But I'm, like, nah, I'm just going to walk past them. All right. Let's see what this button does. I need more magic, right? Nope. Hey, we can pull this this time. Excellent. That brings down that gate over there. Perfect. There's a life pot. And now we have our first door that can take us back to the Hall of Doors. And there's Barb the Bard somehow magically transported before us. Hey again, pal. I hope you don't mind me tagging along. Seems like we'll need to find a way through this old fortress if we want to get up that mountain. Well, I say we, I mean you. I just hang, I'll just i just hang around here and work on the lyrics for my next banging tune. Let me know if you find a way up. Whoops. All right. Sorry about that. Knocked something over on accident. Let's see here. We got all these different pathways. We got at least three. And this one's blocked off. That's where we came from. So I'm assuming each passageway is going to provide us more stuff. Like more branching pathways. So let's go to the left first because that's what we normally do so I can keep track of things. Oh my gosh, I almost fell off that. And of course, we've got falling platforms. I love those. Ah, okay. Fair enough. So that raised that up. There you go. Maybe I can hit it from here? Yeah, I guess so. Oh, I don't have any... That's why those crystals are there. Those are my new urns. I get it now. Now I get it, but we can't get inside just yet. And we don't have the little grapple hook thingy, so no worries. We'll just walk like normal people. Oh, that's fun. Wait, really? Do they just replenish? Oh, I guess they do. I wasn't even paying attention to that. Um, We'll go ahead and pull this right here. Knock off this little lock. And then make our way into the next room. Looks like an ambush. It's a new enemy type. A crow, too. There 
There you go. He is dead. Oh, that's scary. Oh, well, this one has a lot of health. Go on the bombs. I hate these guys. Terrible timing. We're going to have to get this shot off quick before they hit us. Oh, it's a little two strikes, I see. We got lucky there. We definitely need a life pot now. And we are in trouble. But we got the first crow. I don't I haven't even seen the door yet that we need to activate. This the ancient door, I guess. So we'll see. It's so cold. But this will give us a glimpse of where it's at. There's a relic there, it looks like. Can't tell what it is. Almost looks like the like another type of bell or even almost like it actually looks like the Lord of Doors head. <laughs> Alright, let's keep going. There's a little life pot over here. Seems like a little connecting area. It opened up this path for us. That's great. Alright, so we've done this area. Let's go over here next. And we're just going to keep kind of working around in a clock... I guess a clock... Clockwise direction. We've got that over there. Nothing to do. Let's just climb up. We'll climb up this ladder, and then I do see that little passageway over there. Very uh, Super Mario Bros-ish. Pick up this live seed. And let's see. Let's walk around first. Ooh, I am going to need that uh, hookshot ability then. Very cool. Let's fall down here real quick, just because I'm curious. Dun -dun 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 -dun. We got the soul energy mass. Let's go back over here. Let's go down this way. Let's check out what's over here. At some point, we're going to have to get another chest that allows us to grapple hook. The hook shot. Okay, that's cool. Open that whole area up. That's something we definitely needed. I don't have any keys or red keys yet. We know one's just behind us. Let's see. I went up there already. Okay, so let's go this way. Man, there's a lot of branching pathways in this area. I would like to clear out as many areas as I can before I get a little confused. Here lies Lord Lockstone, the first Lord of Doors to make a deal with death. Their legacy is inestimable and their reign absolute. A cold ruler concerned with law and order who consolidated power and would go on to build the foundation of the Hall of Doors. So his name's Lord Locksmith? Lockstone. That's whose head I'd seen. I knew it was kind of reminiscent of the other uh, Lord that we saw, the Lord of Doors, I guess. Let's use our fire. Oops. And let's see. Oh, perfect. Okay, so we're supposed to light those sconces. There are three left to go. So three more little incense thingies we have to light. Let's talk to this fool. Spirit of Lord Lockstone says, This is the resting place of we, the Lords of Doors. I am Lord Lockstone, for whom this crypt was named. We Lords of Doors were an anomaly, a mistake of the universe, some might say. But is that but is that not an apt description of all life? A mistake of the universe, one which grows and thrives? Existence born into consciousness, and to preserve that consciousness is the most important and noble goal. Interesting. Goodbye. Let's go over here. Um yeah. Kind of at a standstill at that point. At this point, I mean. So let's go back up. And then we'll go straight across and we'll explore this passageway next. Another ambush. Let's go ahead and take out the projectile fools. Alright. Oh no. 
guys have quite a bit of health. I was trying to tank that. That was not very smart. We got an archer. It's a quick shot. He got me. A quick shot archer and a golden hammer, bro. I was not prepared for that. Those archers are actually, they have larger masks on. They're a lot stronger and they got a little bit more health. And in this area, all the enemies seem to be beefed up a little bit. So, they got me. So, let's ha head back to that area that we were just at. Go up this way. We'll go to the second passageway over here. Climb up the ladder, and then we're going to go up and to the right. So up this level, and then to the right. We'll be right back in that room where we got ambushed. Right, where's this little guy gonna appear? Excellent. He got me. There you go. I'm waiting for the strike number two, but he doesn't seem to want to do it. There you go. There, now we have the big guy over here. Let's get this archer out of the way first. He moves a lot faster without his <laughs> shield. There you go, dead. That was a very sloppy room, but I'll take it. This is the second soul that we're going to be freeing so that we can unlock the ancient door entombed alongside the old lords. I suppose some would call it an honor. I would call it a tragedy. That must mean they know a little bit more about the lords of doors than we do. That's, a, that's one of their helmets right there. Looks like we have uh, two left. As per usual. Let's see, I don't think I can fall in here. But that is where the door is at, directly below us. We have plenty of seeds, so I'll go ahead and use this one and consume it. We couldn't uh, do anything more on this side, so we're going to head back to that center area. The nexus, if you will. And we'll go this way. We did open another passageway over here to the right, the gated door. This must be the, the ancient door, though. Okay, perfect. So I'm glad we got our bearings. Let's see what the ancient door has to say. Living Reaper, bring me energy. Not much. Not very talkative today. Alright, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and head out. So now we're getting our bearings. I'm loving it. We're going to go over here next. What's that little guy doing? Coming along with any song? Hunting souls for breakfast, lunch, and no. He's trying to think of lyrics. Oh, here he goes. Another fun room. We got a laser. Oh, fun. No, oh, okay. That thing's shooting all the time. I thought it was going to give itself a break, but I guess not. Get this life seed over here. Perfect. We'll pull this little, I guess, this lever here, and then we're going to drop down these gates. He just wants to shoot straight, huh? I like that. Oh my gosh, almost got me there. Got me right in the face. If you get hit once, it resets them. That sucks. Oh, I just fell. That probably resets it as well. Alright, this is going to be fun. I am so impatient, so these little sequences drive me crazy. 
Good thing it's not timed. Ooh, that's gonna make me mad. There you go, just patience. That's all it takes. That's gonna be a far right corner, I'm assuming. And then we'll cut across. Perfect, we can pull the switch, open up this door. Go ahead and plant the seeds here and consume, just to be on the safe side. We're gonna get ambushed here. There you go. Those little bugs are just so mobile. Drive me crazy. That's gonna, I'm gonna get hit by the bit. Yep. I figured I was going to get hit by the backhand there. It's okay. Okay. Mage is dead. And we cleared out that ambush as well. Good for us. Alright, what are these? Little candles? This must be another lord. Here lies Lord Theodore. The first successor in the lineage of lords. Their transition to power was smooth and their reign egalitarian. Remembered for their fair nature and forcing better working conditions for reapers. Look at him. What a swell guy. We'll go up this uh, set of ladders first. We're going to mosey on over here and see if there's anything off screen. And there's not. We'll go up this way. Let's see what we got. Another little passageway. We'll just check it out. Might as well. It's a whole dedicated area for its own stuff. Life seed. Hmm. If I fall down here, I can't get back up. But there is a key here, so I might as well get it, huh? Ah, what? Oh, okay. Iframes? No. <laughs> no iframes. Oh, I could have just shot my arrow. What was I thinking? Oops. I was thinking, oh, I have to roll through it. No, you don't. Probably just shoot an arrow. So we'll go and we'll get the first key, which is great. And then we'll circle back to the other areas. Let's see. Let's go up here. I can't remember where I went. I think it was this passageway. Got ambushed. I forgot all about this little room. It was so ah, unimportant. That room was a pain, though. And this one was, too. Ambushed, and then right back to where we started. So good. We'll climb up this set of ladders again. We'll, oh, might as well save our little soul, uh, crow friend first. Free this soul. This will be a third soul. My life is ending, but this lord plans to live forever. It doesn't feel fair to me. So maybe the new lord just doesn't want it. He wants to beat death somehow. So we have three of four crow souls, and it looks like there's another incense. Let's see. How can I get up there? I don't know if I can just yet. But there's a passageway that we can come in through that kind of this room from. And we'll be able to light that. I'm only assuming it's coming from this side, though. So it's all kind of connected. So we'll eventually come across that path. I'm not too concerned about it just yet. Especially since we already know where the entrance may be. All right. We already got the life seed. We're going to hit this. And we're going to use our big brains. There you go. That's going to open up this door over here, this gate. And now we've got our first red key. Easy peasy. That's the way it should have been done <laughs> previously. For some reason, I was trying to, you know, get some iframes out of that roll and break right through. But now we know we can't roll through those. So that's actually good knowledge that we obtained. I could break down through there, which is fine. I'll probably end up doing that. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, might as well because we're going to get a soul mass over here anyway. So. Dun -dun 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 
We're going here first. Yay, back down. Perfect. So now let's go back around over here. And turn right. Back around. Follow this little passageway here. This is going to be fun. Oh, this is way over here. I, I This is the area that we're at, yeah. But this is kind of taking us to a new area. This is where the ancient soul door is. Ooh. Oh, yes. Paid off. Cool, I'm so glad we found that. You found an ancient crown. This is one of the crowns of the, uh, the lords. It feels unusual to the touch, as if it once contained life. Let's read about it. Ancient crown. An ancient crown worn by the first Lord of Doors. The Lords are beings of pure soul energy, only able to hold corporeal form thanks to their armor binding their soul to this world. Made from a metallic yet organic material, each descendant has its armor forged by the preceding Lord. However, the creation of the for first Lord remains a mystery. That's pretty cool. I like the lore. It's getting pretty deep. Alright, so now we have to go back. That's fine. I'm glad we found that little shiny thing. Similar to like relics. Alright, we'll go back around this way. I don't remember it doing that. Okay, and then this door was a real pain. Oh, we can just go straight, though. Duh, I forgot. All right, cool. So now we're back to pretty much where we left off. We'll just go on the upper path as opposed to heading towards the uh, like the little tunnels that we got through. Let's see. We got the red key as well. I almost forgot about that. Let's walk over these bridges. And we already went through here. That's fine. Jump down the ladder. I don't think there's anything around here that we can't already get. I haven't seen this statue before, but we can't even interact with it, so there's nothing special about it just yet. And yep, this is the only pathway, so that is where we first left off. So now that means we have to do some backtracking, because now we've explored every room. Um, I want to say that the first key was over here, so that means that the first gate was in this area. The first key we saw, anyways, not the first one. We obtained! I died. Love the falling platforms. And it wasn't over here either. Can't do anything in there. I think it's over here. Gotta be. Maybe. Then we got ambushed, got the soul. I'm looking for a very specific room and that wasn't it. So it must be in the top left then. This side over here. I just don't remember seeing it there. Ah, here it is. Ambush. Almost got me there. And no, dead. Who's next? My little crow fellow. Oh, the backhand gets me every time. There you go. Oh, that's gonna get me. No, it's not. Backhand and then let's run away. He does a little belly flop there or something. Backhand. I think he's just maybe repositioning there. Backhand. And he's dead. That wasn't so bad. Alright, let's go get the. Uh, I think this is the final soul. Posted in this fortress, I have learned a great deal about the old lords of doors. Still, don't much care for them. 
That's the fourth door, so that now leads us to the next path we can take. This one's taking a little bit of a different uh, path. Typically, those doors are unlocked after searching through everything, and then you get the ability to, uh, you know, kind of traverse that very last area before you face off with the boss. But there's no way this one's over yet, right? That's a little too premature, I'd say. Because we still have keys. They may not be required, but I guess we'll find out. Because we've only actually lit one of these little sconces as well. Right, is this it? It is. You know what? Do, do I have any um, life pots I haven't used yet? I think I do somewhere. There it is. We've got 1,300 souls as well, so let's go ahead and level up too while we're at it. What's up, little chickies? Four spirits. So I guess those grow up to be the evil demonic forest spirits if for some reason they somehow get corrupted. Because the first boss we fought was the demonic forest spirit. That was the castle lockstone and the stranded sailor. Very cool. There's this old guy. He's always sad about something. Badge of the Reaper. We've already talked to him. He keeps repeating his dialogue. Nothing new to report. Let's see if these guys are still trying to deal with the fest... The pest infestation. Yep, same thing. They're kind of repeating their dialogue. Look at all of our uh, little collections here, our shiny things. Let's talk to Darwin so we can upgrade our combat abilities. See, haste is good, but I'm really starting to want to lean towards something else right now. I need more damage. Alright, cool. So the next one would be 800. They're both at the 800 mark. So we're going to do Dexterity and then Haste. Alright, perfect. Yeah, it's a lot faster. I like that. I can actually feel that one too. Alright. Was it up here? Yes, it was. So we're going to go back to Castle Lockstone. And then we're going to go through the Ancient Soul Door. And this is going to be a good one. I'm really excited about this stream. It's been a uh, an excellent game so far. And uh, I definitely would like to take the time to try and complete it 100%. So I'm in a bit of a time crunch because I want to beat it as quickly as I can before I go on my road trip tomorrow. So I mean, this is going to be a de decent length stream. And then I'll do one really early in the morning tomorrow as well. Let's pop back in. And then, of course, when I come back on Sunday... I'll either finish it, or that'll be our cleanup stream, so. That is the goal. What do we have here? Where are we? Oh. Let's see. Let's go down. I want that bottle of vodka. I can't go across yet. They keep teasing me with those uh, hookshot things. Which means we're going to have to go up. Yep, and here's our new ability, our new Avarice chest. I was hoping for those. You know, I actually forgot. The progression is you open those ancient soul doors, and then you're able to uh, complete a challenge. You get a new ability, then you go back into the world, and you use that ability to explore it to its fullest. So let's go ahead and defeat this, or beat this challenge. I bet there's going to be a bunch of those uh, halberd-wielding fools. I don't like those birds. That's a new type of soul, dude. I didn't even let him strike me. These are a lot stronger. They take an RT and an X. So they take a strong attack as well. Let's go ahead and take out the... Uh, the mages, because they shoot projectiles, which we don't like. We don't like projectiles. These guys do too, but they're a little bit easier to dodge. Got hit in the shadows. We'll fight in the shade. Oh, he's dead. Who's next? I need to take out this little pot over here because I don't want to deal with 
his little friends. Those little green ghosts are so annoying. Oh, I've never seen that before. Oh, yes, I have. It's a smo. I just count smo. Oh, he hit me. Hit me twice. Ooh, this is not good. I'm here. I'm dead. Yep. Okay, so that's probably one of the last enemies. Oh, I forgot about those guys. Yes, I want to try again. I want to get my fourth ability. Well, we got pretty far. We took a lot of damage. Well, actually, you know, we took one one point of damage with that uh, the boomerang fellow. Ooh, we got hit early on that one. That's not good. Where are you going to pop up now? There he is. Right in my face. I love it. He's dead. Okay, perfect. We'll go back over here. I knew I was going to get hit there. It's fine. We just got to play it really safe and not get hit by Smo. Discount Smo. Oh, God. This one's not nearly as mobile as the others were. I got hit. Oh, I tried to be greedy and tank some hits, but I got killed by the same series of strikes as last time. That's okay. Let's not get hit by any of these other enemies, though. Any of this... Any hits this early on are just... That's just unnecessary damage I don't need to take. Oh, I didn't even see that one. That's great. All right. Getting torn up this round. Okay. That was a little too close for comfort. Okay, and then we got Smo. Oh man, that was a little too close. Ooh. I know you pivot a lot faster than that. I don't know why you're pretending you can't. And he got me anyways with the AoE of his smash attack. Dang, dang, dang. That's okay. Let's try again. They're getting me this time, and I keep getting hit early on, which is terrible. Let's see. We're going to open up with this big strike and then clear out this enemy. I haven't seen him strike once, which is fine. Let's go ahead and actually group these ones together. There you go. Dodge again. That's fine. We're going to watch the projectiles. Dodge away. Dodge the projectiles. Hit them back, actually. If we can. There you go, and then we'll get this mage as soon as it reappears. We'll get these little pots first, because these are pretty annoying. They take three strikes each, and then we have these little pocky stick dudes. Dodge! Okay. We're going to go get Smo next. Oh! Okay. 
No. I got greedy. I keep getting greedy. Dodge, dodge. Oh, that gets me every time. Three strikes there. Okay. So when he does that little running thing, it's three strikes. Two. He didn't do three. You're messing with my routine, man. Lateral rolls. There you go. Whew, that was tough. At least we beat it. That was super sloppy. Not my best work. But I'll take it. All right. So we should get the grapple hook now. I wonder what color this uh, crow is going to be. Green. Very nice. We had gold, then blue, then green. A gift to a fellow crow to aid you on your quest. And we're going to take his crown, and he's going to grant us a new ability so we can go and kick butt. Hookshot. It is the hookshot. How funny is that? Just like uh, Ocarina of Time. Press down to switch to the hookshot spell. Ooh, how many does it take, though? Oh, I guess we can just test it out, right? We're going to go down here and test out our new ability. Yes. That didn't take any. It takes no juice at all. get some of this good stuff soul energy mass I love it let's read the log that's just the polite thing to do this appears to be a reapers abandoned log book the removal of the legacy doors has seriously impeded my investigation into the disappearance of the reapers and the redacted region this whole process of transferring to the new system has been a nightmare I have found evidence that many workers were active in the region when the orders were given to cut them off that's terrible more worrying still is that the active reaping mission in the area was also purged from the system. Hmm. Somewhere out there is a soul that has not been reaped on time. It's a recipe for disaster, that's for sure. We all know what happens to souls if they remain alive past their death date. I think that's when they get all like powerful and evil, kind of like uh, we learned from the Urn Witch and the Frog King. awesome you know what though I saw something over here and I didn't know this was actually what we could do so we're gonna hook shot across and we're gonna go back just for a second because I remember seeing a lamp post that was slightly off the beaten path oh it's that one I can't aim up though huh let me try something I don't think I'm high enough still no okay that's fine that's all I wanted to see. I like that it doesn't take up any uh, magic. It's got a really decent range as well. Is this the beginning area? <laughs> I think it is. Click. Seems like the phone isn't connected to anything. Well, that's funny. Took us all the way back here. I see our boy, uh, Vega, right? V oh, Badger. Badger. The Vega, that Vega, he's talking about the homeless guy. That Vega reckons that something big's gonna happen here soon. You know anything about that, buddy? I do not. But I'm sure Vega is correct. He seems to be a wise dude. Look at all these little forest spirits. There's Ball Plart. I don't know why anyone was complaining these things are adorable. He's pretty much the hall cop, right? Ball Plart the Hall Cop. Instead of Paul Blart the Mall Cop. Ha ha ha. He said these things are adorable and they like the same TV shows as I do. Well, ain't that something? You've made a friend. Alright, so where the fudge do I go? I guess back here. Oh, let's talk to Vega real quick. What's up? Tell me, have you ever seen a mountain? If you ever get a chance, try and explore one. What a wonderful creation they are, titans of nature. 
How odd you say that I am in a mountain right now. Well, I was on a mountain. Let's go to the castle lockstone. I always wondered what those white lines, horizontal lines mean on the doors. I wonder if that means like you've cleared the area or that area has, you know, all the secrets have been found. I don't know. I, I really doubt that, but it'd be nice to have some sort of indication. That way you can know which areas you need to go back to and search. Um, let's go here. No, 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 no. Instead of doing that, we're just going to go back to the standard path. That way we don't miss anything. So we'll go the very first pathway that we tried to explore first. Oh my, I've done that probably, what, three times now? Love it. Go here, here. Okay. We'll go around. No, I didn't mean to do that. So I need to actually shoot with an arrow then. And this should reach. Yes, okay, that's that's exactly what those little crosses are for then. They're hookshot posts. There's another little challenge area we can figure out. Very nice. Go ahead and pull the lever, knock off the lock, and then, I'm not sure what we're going to get here. Definitely not a, a free soul, a soul to free. Who's this? Here lies Lord Opengate, the third in the lineage of the lords. Their rule was steady and without hindrance. A ruler skilled at delegation, they spent many of their years expanding their knowledge while traveling the vastness of space. Something of an explorer, I see. That is the second sconce that we need to light that means there's only two more so we're halfway there very good let's go talk to this old dude he says greetings young reaper your presence here is quite a conundrum it would indicate that the course of events which started with the formation of death's door has led the universe to the brink of great peril however it is also indicative of those actions correcting themselves. Life is merely the universe experiencing itself. And as the universe seeks balance in all things, we, as parts of it, are all acting to maintain that balance. Stay true to your path, young reaper. I can sense victory in your future. Let's go ahead and drop down here. This is just another sort of shortcut, I guess, to this area. I got hit, so we'll go ahead and, uh, I didn't get hit, I actually fell like a dummy. Um, so now we'll go this way. And then we're going to use our hook shot to see what we can, what kind of trouble we can get into over here. We're going to come back over this side. Need to go up one more level, I guess. Then we'll try and hook shot. Yes, we reached it. I guess this was the uh, intended path, but I didn't go that route. It kind of went a slightly different. It's called a shortcut. We took a shortcut. We cleared out this room already. Nothing special there. I do want to go up these stairs though to see if there's anything else that I might have missed with the hook shot that I couldn't grab before. So let's go back this way. Incense. This. Okay, good. See? Glad we backtracked. Oh, I almost fell off. I wasn't paying attention over here got the life seed but I still can't open this door what the heck I don't know why but at least we have the life seed this is also another locked door how silly is that
and they're not switches or anything so by touching them or hooking to them it doesn't actually like a series of on it doesn't provide you know it's not like a some sort of mechanism that goes off of this oh if you unlock this one this one this one then you can open a door it's not really like that at all so they're just stationary little crosses you can cling to all right there's nothing to do there so let's go back looks like the ancient door is still open for us I do think I can go up here though I, I remember there being a an upper area so I completely forgot about that we'll climb up and then we gotta drop down this area over here and then climb up the ladder I thought there was a I know we opened a gate but I thought there was another little cross we could hook shot to and there was Hopefully this opens up something juicy. Very nice. A shortcut. I'm not sure I understand. Oh, okay. Okay. That was a little unnecessary, but that's fine. Ah, I don't know why I did that. I see, okay, my bad. My bad. Gotta go here. I guess my question is how the heck? Oh, puzzles. My question is, is this one higher than this one? It is. I'm going to have to shoot it from here. amount of shots either so I gotta be super careful about where I land this time I think that's still higher though uh. dang okay that's I think I messed up I don't have any more hook shots anyway. Darn! I need more, um, more magic, which I don't know how to get. I thought those would allow me to get more magic. Hey, it worked. Even though we did it in a number of tries, I thought it was just it was just one actual big sequence. That's fine. Well, I still need um I still need my magic though, or my renewable source. Where are my icicles? Nothing over here. Not sure what that is. It must be a secret. Okay, that was scary. Good to go. Remember, we still have a door. Is, wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice. This is uh, another Lord. Lord Deadbolt. They're all kind of door references, sort of. The fourth in the lineage of the Door Lords. Their rule was dark, but produced efficiency among Reapers. 
an overbearing ruler concerned with keeping order and funding research into other sustainable forms of life extension. Very strange. And then we'll be able to talk to this door dude here. We do have a red key and a gate that was locked that we found with a matching key. So we'll go back there at some point. But let's talk to this dude first. Lord Deadbolt. Spirit of Lord Deadbolt says, My life was not easy. The balance of the universe was my duty and mine alone. The Lord who created me had grand delusions about fate and purpose. But fate did not bind me to death's door. Duty did. No other could take on the task of controlling life and death. So I bore the burden. I bore it for as long as I could, even extending my life beyond the bounds set by the pitiful anachronism that is death. When my time finally drew to a close, my successor paid no heed to my teachings. I fear their reign may have destroyed the balance I tried so hard to maintain. What a bitter disappointment they have been. Greatness is seldom free, Crow. True greatness may even cost you your soul. Um, I wonder if his successor is our lord. That is... Um, Kind of a goofball. Let's go ahead and push this lever. Let's go behind those doors. I see a secret. What well, seems to be a secret, anyways. It's kind of blocked off, so maybe there's something good back here. Very cool so far. Where is this going to take us, though? That room that we saw from above. Okay, perfect. And there is a shiny thing. Looks like some sort of scroll. You found some kind of signed contract. How exciting. It's probably the contract between our uh, the Lord of Doors and uh, one of those, the witches or somebody. Death contract. This appears to be some kind of contract. It resonates with an uncanny energy. It has been written in an ancient text you cannot read. So it's like death and then maybe the Lord of Doors. That's the contract they entered because I see their seals. That's really cool. Alright, now that we've found that relic, we can go out, and then we'll end up opening that door. Let's go this way. We've come full circle. Gotta go back up in here. We only have one more sconce to light, and it'll be, I'm sure, in the same tomb as the fifth lord. Climb up here, hook shot. I'm glad we don't have to do this puzzle again because that was pretty annoying. We'll open up this door. Ooh, good. Where do I go? I guess here. Is it open yet? No, it's not. There you go. Now it's open. We'll pull the little lever. If I can line up right. Okay, now we've unlocked the... We can bust through here real quick. And this is the area that we were talking about. We found the entrance. So maybe the fifth lord is the, the lord of uh, doors that we are currently um, being ruled by. Because... That was just a sconce that was outside of a tomb. It was There was no associated lord with it. What's up, dude? Who are you? Spirit of Lord Theodore, sweet child, look at what has happened to your life at the hands of our chaos. I was never sold on the idea of preserving the course of life and death. Each lord creates the next in succession before their death and teaches them the lord's path. My creator, the lord before me, bound me to their system. All I could do was try and balance the world as fairly as I could. I tried my best to do right by the living, especially the crows, recruited into something they had no business in. If opportunity presents itself, child, ending this cycle would be what is right for the universe. My lifetime was too short to come to that ultimate conclusion, but I remain hopeful that others will teach it or reach it on their own. You're cool, dude. 
Let's see, let's go this way, this way. I think we're just going to come over here. Oh, no, I don't want to do that. I just need to make my way to the the main room. And now there's a little a bird cage elevator that we can take. And to be honest, I don't even know how to get there anymore. It's probably just over here though. Oh, I can do this now. Haha. -ha. Glad we stumbled upon this passageway over here then. Got it. Soul energy mass, we now have 800. That's enough to get the next upgrade. And now we're back in this area over here. And down we go. Goodbye, Barb. Actually, I said down we go. We're actually going up a few levels. What are you hiding back here? Soul energy. That was a little too obvious, huh? They were hiding something. Cutscene, or maybe just a loading in a brand new area. This is probably the cold area, like the mountainous region. Oh, or not. Let's see. Let's see what the sign says actually first to know kind of where we're at. This way to our camp. See, <laughs> see you soon. Oops. <laughs> I love that. Okay, so let's go over here. Oh, there's nothing we can do over here. I thought that was a level area, but it's not. Okay, so I guess we are going to go to the camp and see whoever left that little sign for us there. Ah, oh, I thought you were friendly at first, but you're not. I think I cut his head off on accident. Whoops. Make sure there's nothing over here. Okay, so one of these is going to lead to a secret, so it's probably this way. A little off the beaten path. Dang it, I can't reach that one, huh? Ooh, I'm going to fall down. That's unfortunate. Let's go this way, climb back up the ladder. They're just making me do extra work here. There you go. We're going the right way now. But I'm glad we picked up that little uh, soul energy mass. The more, the merrier that we can continue leveling up our haste and our dexterity. Okay, very good. Probably a life seed in here. And there is. Let's see anything over on this side. I don't think there's a big wall, right? Yeah, okay. Let's head this way. Climb up this really tall ladder here. And we're going to go this way. That's not a shiny thing. I thought it was. Whose camp is this? Let's grab this life seed. Looks like they live in little, uh, little pods. Like giant acorn things. Okay. It's a little tease. I see. Here's another door. Takes us right back to the Hall of Doors. We're going to take it because I do want to increase my dexterity to that next level. I know we only have about 900 or maybe even 1,000 at this point, but we just need 800. I'll continue leveling up the dexterity first. We're at the Camp of the Free Crows, which are those crows that apparently um, Badger was talking about. More and more for forest spirits. 
Excellent. The next upgrade is 1,000. Let's see. I don't really use the magic too much, so I guess it's fine. I was thinking, man, maybe I should have increased the magic because the dexterity is going to be good. That'll increase our DPS, you know, marginally. But the magic attacks don't hardly do any damage. They're more useful as utilities. Okay, now that we're back here. I don't have a red key yet. A little cutscene. Who are we going to meet? The Free Crows. Well, oh, it's Vega. Welcome to the, the camp of the Free Crows, old friend. We knew you'd make it here eventually, even if you need a bit of guidance along the way. <laughs> He's very sneaky. <laughs> very, very sneaky. We are a group of free-thinking individuals who reject the ideas of the Lord of Doors. We do not want unnatural immortality if it must come at the cost of our lives. What is the point in living forever if it's to be as a slave? No, we choose to live free and die free. So go, climb ever higher, defeat the beast at the top of the mountain, and claim its soul. Oh, but make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Let's go talk to everybody. Is this a passageway? It's not. You don't want... Okay. Rook says, Welcome, foretold crow. We live a simple life here, foraging and living off the land. We even use fur shed by the beast atop the mountain as bedding. Well, that's disgusting. Vega says, Make sure you're well prepared before you head onwards. Remember, you're welcome here anytime you like. Jack Dahl says, We all abandon our assignments, which means our life now ticks away. However, we are happier for it. This is the way it should be. Without death, new life cannot grow. We'll grab this key. Corvus says, Greetings, foretold crow. This is the gate of knowledge. Its eyes see all things. Its heart knows all things. And its soul exists in all things. It whispers to us when we need guidance. It foretold your arrival and your destiny. This door right here, huh? Interesting. There's a life seed back here, just kind of hiding. Let's talk to this buddy. Raven says, The foretold crow, it is an honor to meet you. Did you find any of our shrines on your journey? It seems there are still nine shrines you have yet to find. Wow, okay. So those shrines are probably the life shrines and the uh, magic shrines. I am sure they will help you on your journey and in the fight with the beast atop the mountain. So I bet once we unlock them all, or activate all the shrines this opens up or those really large metal doors that have like a, a series of lights on them maybe those are tied to the shrines cool i like this area let's open up this door or unlock it bust through the gate in style Not sure where to go. I always like to know what the intended path is. That way I can. Oh my gosh. That way I can go the opposite direction and do some exploring. There's Barb the Bard. Phew. It's uh, it's quite a steep climb getting up here. My pipes are still wheezing. You must be pleased as punch, though, huh? I mean, a secret crow society up here in the mountains. Who knew? And they have so many great stories about their lives up here, especially about the beast atop on the mountain. Yeah, I'm getting so much inspiration on our adventure. I think my next song might be the greatest I've ever written. And I've written more than five. So he's something of an expert, this guy. This way to the beast's lair via the old watchtowers. What do these say? Dang it. I can't read these, huh? Well, that's weird. All right, let's go down this way then. The beast's lair is up there. That means this is probably just some extra exploration to do. This way to the frozen canyon. Exercise caution. Let's go to the canyon first. Oh, it's slippery over here. That's not good. Look, I'm sliding. Sliding like a madman. Hold on. There you go. Ah! So it's timed. Oh. 
Overcorrection is going to be the death of me. I just want everybody to know that. What would that do? What would the purpose of this be? Nothing, right? Ooh, that's tricky. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna bite. Not this time. Okay. Why is it so slippery? Dang it. Dang it. Okay. Okie dokie. Come on, baby. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> okay. This is terrible. Oh, I could have made it, but I'm scared. Oh my gosh, this is going to be a pain. Arg, mateys. Oh, come on. I'm gonna get you. I'm, oh, I'm dead. Okay. All the way back? Okay, this better be something amazing. do this one first. Dang it! I died again. Okay, I'm not gonna give up. So, you boys get comfortable. Going this way, this way. This is pretty much like the gauntlet area. It's like, oh, you think you mastered all the techniques? And I'm like, yeah. Okay, straight line, straight line. That was close, but we need to replenish our magic now. Oh, I was on it, but my uh, my my whole depth perception got thrown off there. So weird. Okay, let's try that again. A lot of overcorrection there. Cost me dearly. I don't want to jump on that because I'll die. I need, oh, I need to be able to run across it. I got a better idea. I don't know why I'm struggling so much with that. Probably just shoot from here, right? If I can make the shot. Oh my gosh. Of course I can't. I'm going to die. To this area. Okay. Here goes this. Oh my goodness. So I can't hit it from there, huh? I don't get that. I 
Arr. Okay. I don't want to fall off, but I am pretty sure if I fall, I'm going to die, so. Oh, see, because if I jump, I'll just fall off. Unless I jump from the very edge. Uh-oh. Wrong way. Terrible timing. I died. That's a death death. Alright, let's try that again. Hopefully... There's a door nearby, because I have no clue where the last door is. Oh, yeah, I do. It's the one that uh, we just unlocked right here. Okay, perfect. We'll go through this gate. I almost died. Oh. That's probably something. That's how we get that little life thingy. The soul energy mass that was teasing us. Well, there you go. Oh, I'm dead. Sheesh. Silly me. Okay. Let's go back this way. Now we can go around. At least we got the soul energy, though. Alright, here goes. Let's do this. Almost fell there. Oh my goodness. It's gonna be one of those days, huh? There you go. I was on there, but I got so confused. It's the it's the depth perception on it just really throws me off. It's the second time I've done that. Yo, okay, that's awesome. Now we're at half health. We gotta go right back. That is tough. Almost fell off again. That timing is terrible on that. There you go. So we've got this one over here. I'm not sure what it does. Oh, wow. So you do have to hit that one too, huh? That is no fun. I don't like that. Maybe I can just cheese it. From here. Okay, hold on. of course okay let's try that again let's 
So which one does what? I need to I need to track which one moves what. So I know that's the first one. That's the third one. Okay. So the most important are actually the hardest ones to hit. Naturally. I need this one to move up though. Yeah, I need to hit the one in the top left corner of the screen instead. Okay, so here goes that and that. Oh, dang it. Okay. I did it wrong again. It's fine. Okay, this is tough. This must be a nice little challenge, and that's why I almost fell off. Oops, hold on. And of course, you slide around like a madman. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Of course that wasn't enough. Okay, so let me just try that again. Come on. Up, up, up. Okay, so what am I missing there? What's this one do? Oh, I don't have any oh my gosh, I don't have any arrows. And it takes you all the way back. You know what? Um, I don't have the time to do this because we gotta get through and we gotta go to the beast lair. This is part of cleanup, so that's probably a challenge. Clearly, it's a challenge area, and we'll be able to do that at a later time. But I know myself too well. I know that I won't stop trying at the cost of not progressing. And nope, I gotta fight past that. So we'll go to that area later. It's a really cool area though too. Now we're going what to the beast lair? Yep. And off we go. But yeah, that area is really cool. I'm actually excited to go ahead and try and complete that. Because that pretty much requires you know almost perfect execution. And that doesn't help that it has like a slippery terrain either. What's hiding back here? Nothing? Nothing? It's weird. Death. Okay. Thought that would have been something. A secret because the roof there wasn't. Uh, it was just kind of missing a piece there. But okay. Maybe not. Sometimes it doesn't pay to be so curious. There's another door there, probably to the beast's lair. Activate this passageway back to the hall of doors. All right, can't go there yet. Handful of enemies. Nothing that I can grapple to within reach, so that's fine. Making sure everybody's dead there. Pick up this life seed. This area's gonna be pretty tough. Enemies are pretty strong here. Ooh, he got me right in the face. Alright, here goes. We're gonna walk across. Excellent. Whew, that's no good. But we do have a, a door that's going to take us right to this exact area, so we don't even have to go through the secret crow society anymore. The free living crows. Let's try that again. Go this way. 
not fall off the bridge here. Got him. Okay, perfect. I don't see any other things we can cling to at this point. Very good. He's been dispatched now. We'll remember this life pot, just in case we need it later. Backhand. Oh, I didn't know he could turn around or pivot so well. He's quite the pivot master. Climb up this ladder. And where do we go? I guess we'll go this way. I can't um, dodge through that. I forgot. Let's go through here this time. Nice. Ooh, he got me. Okay, this area is no fun. Pretty difficult, actually. Um, I wonder if that was the path, the, you know, that we need to go to reach the the beast, or if it was up and to the right instead. All right, here we go again. Cut across. I'm gonna cling. Hook shot. Perfect. All right, here we go. Now we're getting some momentum. Gonna go well no I'm not two perfect okay I feel like we're a lot more powerful now and we have a ton of let's get that life seed a ton of a uh, like recovery time. Oh, I mean, actually, I, I'm sorry. We have a lot less recovery now, so I feel like we're doing a lot more damage than before. See, I don't know what this door is. Somehow, maybe we have to light those sconces or something. I'm gonna dodge through quickly. Ah, I went through the laser like a fool. There you go. That area is cleared, and it looks like the laser just popped off. That's good. It just destructed, it self destructed. That's always a pleasure. Okay, sorry. Something scratched me. We got Boomerang, bro. He's just stuck up there, though, for now. So we're going to go around and say hi. Oh, lovely. They're everywhere. Okay, they're both down and out of the way for now. I'm not sure if that was just like an extended fighting arena or what. Not really understanding this little area here. Can I not light these? They're driving me crazy. I can light them. 
sort of. Maybe I need some sort of special fire to keep them lit. Oh, can't go there. Push this lever. Excellent. I think that's a shortcut. And there's Barb the Bard. Dang, the weather sure is rough up here. The wind's just howling through my pipes. Still a bit bad weather's never deterred me before. A bit of bad weather's. Especially with the beast so close now. I wonder what it looks like. Based on the crow what the crow said, it sounds like a proper monster. All hairy and wild. I can't wait to see you fight it. Me neither. I'm also excited about facing off with the beast. Let's go up this area up here. Take the lift. Be careful here, there's gonna be a bunch of enemies. Oh, I didn't even notice that. I was looking off to the bottom right hand side of the screen where the other archers were. But they weren't bothering anybody. I'm dead. Where do I go there? Well, that's not good. I could have all either fallen that way or this way, I guess. Oh, there's lasers. That's great. I didn't see that those were the alternating lasers, so I was thinking, oh my gosh, they're going to start turning my way. And I walked right into that halberd, or the spear, right to the face. All right. There it is. There's our little shortcut. There's the bard. We're not going to fall this time. Because fallen's for chumps. Like that guy. How can I not hit him? Okay. Well, there you go. Well, that just came full circle, didn't it? Can I, do I have to roll across? Is that what it's wanting me to do? Oh, I don't even think you can do that. Let me try that again. I was just testing it, but... I mean, I know I have to use the hook shot. I'm not worried about that. I'm just confused. All right. Wants me to stay in close. Oof, okay. Dang it. <laughs> I like that, though. Because he wants you to stay in tight. Increases the challenge. Because I was just getting used to fight, facing off with those, uh, those spear or halberd wielding enemies. But with the lasers and now added projectiles, I mean, that, that's it's getting a little more tough, a little more challenging. We'll climb up, and hopefully not going to get hit for the 15th time. I do want to try something kind of risky. Yeah, that was risky. Here? Okay, what the heck? It's going to be here somewhere. There it is. Soul energy. That now explains why that's there. Consume, and then we're going to call the lift down. Take the lift right back up, and then hopefully not take unnecessary damage.
I don't think I understand how to get over there. Like, there's a life seat over there. I just don't know how to get to it. Alright, time to kill stuff. Ooh, he got me good. Got me good. Cut me deep, Shrek. Cut me real deep. Oh, nice. The lasers hurt them, too. I forgot about that. I'm about to die to this fool. I died to a sorcerer instead. He shot me point blank. No matter. All right, let's go back. We're getting a good path now, and um, I can get there pretty consistently at this point, so pretty happy about that, at least. Hook shot across. Hook shot across. Then we're going to take the lift. That's probably another shortcut up there. There you go. Dead. There you go. Dodge the lasers. Hit this guy. Dodge. Dodge again, hopefully. Okay. And dodge through. Dodge again. Two, three. Dodge. I don't get hit in the face, it's fine. you go perfect that was a lot tougher than I want it to be but we got through I don't think there are any additional secrets over there so we just need to carefully walk through I feel like we're gonna navigate off the ledge here dead too so we get the hammer bro out of the way see if there's anything oh hold on no okay that's just uh i didn't think that was actually walled off like it was it scared me i don't like the rolling attack with those enemies it's actually not as good as i thought let's go this way instead i guess we could hook shot across Save the trouble there, right? Maybe not. We're gonna use our strong attack and slash. As long as he doesn't throw his bomb. That was two strikes there, so we're gonna be okay. Nice, okay, I'm really liking that. That's probably our next shortcut. Possibly. Yeah, it looks like it is. Let me just check what was over here. Another life pot. So I don't need that necessarily. We may need to activate that, but for now let's just let's not. I guess I guess this is the easy way. I don't know. I don't know what the other hookshot ledge was for. The little cross. No worries. I didn't even see this guy until the last second. Now it's getting slippery again. I do not like when it's slippery over here. That means we can fall off. So we have to be very careful. Okay. This is just a prelude to that really tough area that we were just in. 
a little gauntlet. It's like, hey, you have to do it perfectly every single time. Oh gosh, just like that. Lasers, no. Okay. That was scary. That was terrifying, actually. Oh, that was close. Okay, there you go. He was running around like crazy, so I just wanted a hook shot to him. <laughs> just to get that out of the way. Okay, this looks to be barricaded. Oh, not anymore. So now we're back in the scary area. Dang, I'm getting torn up over here. Okay, this is kind of scary because I don't have any heals. If there's a life pot, I'd be the happiest little man. And there is because there's one down there. Good. But that just took me full circle, so what was the point of that? Oh, I see now. Cool. So at least we made it past. Oh, gosh. I would hate if I died just to grab a life seed that I already have 20 of. 23 of, to be exact. So, yep, we are going to activate it now. Now it makes more sense. Its placement is now known to me. Makes perfect sense. All right, let's go. And over here. Ambush. He got me. He, went, he jumped through the little glaciers. That's fine. I wonder if I can shoot the arrows. I have never tried. I feel like those would uh, be a little too fast for us to hit. Well, that got me good. I'm in a very bad spot right now. We got the boomerang, bro. Come on, I need you to come over here. You just keep hopping around. arrow bros we gotta get those out of the way first oh I got hit anyways man those those hammer guys can really turn and hit you at some strange angles so let's see where that left us I think we have to go through our little shortcut area again which is gonna be pretty annoying let's see here so we got this hopefully it's just a straight shot I don't remember exactly where to go. Ah, it is. Haha. -ha. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is the gauntlet that we got destroyed in. Oh, that's terrible. I got slammed. Okay, that's fantastic. That guy's going crazy over here. I wonder if they can hit me from different angles because I, I think they can. 
They're definitely tracking on me right now. Yep, they can shoot at angles. I can't. I have to shoot at just one elevation. Go kill this guy. And then we do have some hammer bros to deal with. So we're going to stay away this time. Dodge. I got hit anyways. Okay, so pretty much I just need to not get hit by the easy enemies and then save it for those guys. Because I can only imagine there's going to be another round or two of enemies that are going to spawn. But we're going to get through it pretty quick and then we'll be facing off with the beast. And that means I'm going to either have to do a late night stream or a very early morning stream to see if we can beat this thing. Dodge behind. <laughs> okay, that was scary. Dodge behind. Oh, it got me anyways. So I'm winding up, but I feared I was going to get lucky. Should never assume you're going to be lucky. Tile foes over here. We're going to go to the other side and destroy the piranha plant. Ooh. I'm glad they don't have those big archers, because that would have been terrible. And two. It's just so slippery out here. Two. Perfect. I guess that was the last little string of enemies there. The last wave. Alright, so let's go up here. We'll go around. Is the guy still chasing me? He can't climb up ladders though, so. Or can he? I feel like that life pot isn't needed. This is probably a nice little secret. When it changes the cat, I'm looking for a shrine. I need to be rewarded with a shrine. I've been searching far and wide. That's a moon symbol. Not sure what that means just yet. Do any of our... Well, we can't equip anything anyway, so... Yeah, I don't know. Not a secret door, an illusory wall kind of thing, I guess not. Alright, back we go. This should hopefully take us to the last door or the boss. <laughs> yep, last door. Excellent. Last door and the boss. Even better. This is it. That's the beast. Oh boy, my heart is pounding. Are you going to fight it? I'm going to stay well out of the way and uh, take notes from my song. Good luck. Just for the sake of, I am going to activate this life seat so I can have full health in my first encounter with the boss. And uh, we're going to do everything we can to beat her. can only imagine we're going to need to employ our new technique, the hookshot, so I am going to keep it equipped. And let's kick some buns. 
What does this do? Nothing. Okay. Ooh, looks like uh, she's killed crows before. He or she. It is a she, Betty. Oh, shit. Shoot. Ooh, okay. You're not nice. Good gosh. Okay, she's hard. Whoa. Death within seconds. Uh, she's got a really strange cadence, and then that roll attack's going to be fun. That's going to be a lot of fun. She's killed a number of crows. One, two, three. Oh, gosh. It's two strikes there, and then a backslash. One. Backslash. That's what I gotta be careful for. I'm afraid of that, of her rolling up. Oops, okay. It's just the roll. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Okay, so I need to... I'm rolling around like crazy, and it's punishing you for that because you do have a roll recovery time. So what we need to do is wait for her to stomp, and then every time she stomps and lands and kind of gets her bearings, that's whenever we go ahead and uh, strike. Whenever she rolls, we need to wait until she rolls to a full little ball there. There you go. That's okay. I didn't dodge that one. That's fine. Didn't dodge that one either. There. It's whenever she touches the floor. That's the timing of it. Oh, she's throwing snowballs now. That's great. Two. Three. Oh, she landed right on my face. <laughs> and now she's just pounding me into oblivion. This is a good, good boss fight. I like this. The others were very, um, well, let's say the Frog King was very situational and really more based on placement and all that, but this is a true, true boss fight, kind of like the Witch of Urns. That's okay. Roll. Roll. And then as soon as she jumps up again, roll, and then we can hit her this time. Well, she landed on us, so. At some point, she's going to throw snowballs, right? Two. Three. Throwing snowballs again. All right, we're getting a little bit of a rhythm now, finally. Snow, oh, she's gonna roll, gonna roll, gonna roll. That's three times. Uh-oh, now we've got snow falling, falling from the ceilings, which is terrible. Uh-oh. She's getting pretty deadly now. Those snowballs are going to fall the whole time, huh? That's great. I got backhanded in the face. That was awesome. This is a great boss fight. I really like this. And I think that it was worth the, uh, 
the level. The level wasn't my favorite, but it was definitely a nice use of the hook shot. But we haven't used it once here, so I wonder if it's going to even be needed. Oh, snowball. Betty, you are not nice. There you go. I don't have as good a timing as I had last time. I was getting on recovery last time, but now, not so much. And three. I got hit right in the face. I'm gonna start throwing snowballs at some point. One, two, three. That was close. Two, and then she's gonna roll again. Three. Gonna watch for any snowballs. Now they're gonna be falling from the ceiling. Got backhanded. Just throwing a snowball at us. Dodge. Ooh, that was my fault for being too aggressive. I normally don't attack her in between those rolls, but I got a little greedy. All right, let's try that again. We have a thousand souls, which is good enough for the next upgrade. Got me. She likes to boast after she hits you a few times. I got tagged up so bad there, I just kind of tanked a lot of those hits. But this time, we're going to be fresh. All right, here goes. Very difficult boss. I think this is the only boss that's ever taken me more than one attempt. <laughs> there you go. Upon landing. Dodge the roll, dodge the roll, we're going to go straight line, and dodge the roll. We're going to attack on landing. So stay smart. Dodge the roll. Dodge the roll, we're going to go straight line. Dodge the roll. Attack on landing. Got to get ready for those snowballs. Because I didn't attack on landing, I timed it really poorly. I got hit. That goes to show don't deviate from the plan. Straight line and roll. Straight line and roll. I'm waiting for a snowball any second now. Oh, it got me. The range there got me roll. That was really close timing for me, actually. Roll again. Roll. That was close. We got the snowballs falling from the ceiling now. So she's a bit angry with us right now. It means we're doing good. Got hit with a snowball from the ceiling. Got hit with a, a small little punch. A little jab. And that's because I kind of got caught. I accidentally rolled into her. I was trying to avoid the snowball falling from the ceiling and I just overcorrected. Jumped right in her face and then she punched me. She said hello.
Again, you want to stay out of the range of those jumps. Taking a ton of damage here. Man. Not bueno. Not bueno. No bueno. Okay, let's do that again. That's like has several attempts at this point. Probably five or six. She's very difficult. Um, but again, I'm confident that we can beat her. It's just a matter of we gotta have a good start. So this first jump here, what does she she always go to the center? Pretty much. See, I didn't time it on landing, and that's why I got punished. I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive and I am going to punish her on the rolls. Because she doesn't slam after the rolls. Bad timing for me. I got in a bad cycle there. Ooh. So again, another thing we need to keep in mind is no matter what, we can't be in front of her. At any point in time. So we need to stay out of her way. Uh, and try and stay either to her side or behind her. Alright. Let's wait for the second jump. There you go. We got backhanded because we didn't strike her just in time, unfortunately. Try and get greedy and get a hit in, you will get tagged by those strikes. Like so. I got hit so many times. If she hits you on the roll, you can't try and fit in a strike. And I've known that for at least two rounds now, but even so. And there, I just rolled too early, so she was still able to correct her distance. And look at her just spamming the roll attack. Got some mean AI, Betty. This is definitely the hardest boss, but I would say the funnest boss fight. There you go, that's a little better. A little too late to punish that one, that's fine. We're gonna come in and strike. We gotta strike on landing. And dodge the snowball. That means she's pissed. She's gonna roll at us. And then we're gonna hit her when she lands, hopefully. We're gonna roll. She's gonna roll too. She hit me. That was really bad on my part. That's okay. We're gonna dodge the snowball. Ah, she's going to try and throw another snowball at us. She's going to start rolling here soon, I can only imagine. Ooh, that was close. Too close. I got hit by a snowball. I don't think she's dead. She's dead. Whew, that was a lot tougher than it needed to be. But fortunately, her life wasn't, like, her phases, I thought she was going to enter, like, a true, like, second and third phase. But aside from the snowballs falling from the uh, ceiling, as long as you're pretty aggressive and attack her during her rolls, she's not going to have much time to have the snow falling while she's attacking you. So Stedhone the Grave Digger says, We gather here today to mourn the passing of Betty, the Yeti. To some, she was revered as a god. To others, feared as a wild, untamable beast. And to a small few, loved as a radiant beauty. After many lifetimes, lived atop the mountain, supplying locals with fur and untimely deaths, she can now rest. 
Bow your head in remembrance. Pay your last respects. Her time in this world is over. That is tragic. Tragic indeed. Let's talk to Barb. What an incredible adventure this has been, full of twists and turns. So Betty and the Beast were one and the same? Amazing. Like Beauty and the Beast. That means the drunken guy at the Stranded Sailor, was he in love with the Beast? Whoa. I kind of feel bad for them both now. Dead or heartbroken, what do you think is worth? They're both kind of tragic. Still, it's great material for a song, huh? I'm going to start writing straight away. Once it's ready, come by the Stranded Sailor sometime and I'll play it for you. Another demonic soul's anger quelled, Reaper. May they find peace in death. Wow, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Any secret passageway over here? No. Let's go back to the Hall of Doors. And let's power up. And we are going to return the soul. Uh, or actually meet the gray crow at the summit. The old watchtowers, the camp of the free crows, castle lockstone, Betty's lair, and the stranded sailor. Castle lockstone, huh? Okay. Very cool. Alright. Do you have anything positive to say? These creatures are so colorful, they're giving me a migraine, and they're coming through the doors that you left open. Honestly, you're turning my office into dimensional Swiss cheese. Mayhaps. Mayhaps. Look at this black one. That one's really cool. My little friend got into my ink supply. <laughs> the poor dear. That's why. Although, she doesn't seem to mind. Maybe she just loves the smell of ink as much as I do. Ink smells beautiful. Welcome to the Soul Vault. Excellent. Okay, so let's go to the Lost Cemetery. I'm going to remember this time. And we're going to head to the summit so we can speak or meet with the Grey Crow and let him know that we've obtained all three giant souls. This should be enough to open the door, but I have a feeling that the Lord of Doors is going to prevent us from achieving our mission here. I don't trust him, especially after learning more about some of the other lords. They kind of just do whatever they want, and even from each of their successors, they can differ greatly. You know, they can be vastly different people. So, let's do this real quick, because I've been curious to see. Oh, well, maybe not, huh? Or not. We're not going to do that at all. But we are going to go this way. It's this way. To the summit. That's the old witch's house. The Witch of Urns. The Urn Witch. The Ceramic Crony. What's her name? The Earthenware Enchantress. All right, what's up, man? What do we got? Grey Crow says, you did it. You're a much stronger reaper than I. I could have never taken down those giant souls alone. It is time, at long last. Let us force this door open, fledgling, and finish our assignments. This is Death's Door. And now to the other side. This is it. This is the place beyond, where no life is to be seen. Uh, hello? Lord of Doors. 
No, that's death. Death. <laughs> We've met you several times this run. Are you death? I thought the tales of the original Reaper were just the mad ramblings of the free crows. Yeah, well, I guess that's me. So if you didn't know I was the real, I was real, that means you're not here to rescue me, huh? I, no, I'm sorry, we're here for another purpose. In fact, you might be able to help us. Wow, rude. But alright, I mean, what's a few more minutes after several centuries? So why are you here, actually? How did you even get here? We seek souls that have passed through death's your door. We are service-bound reapers. We require those souls to finish our tasks and restore our statue, our stature with the commission. Otherwise, we will die. Oh, awkward. If you're looking for a soul here, then you're out of luck. Any non-corporeal souls that pass the door are absorbed into the ether. Soul energy has to be recycled to create new life. That's why my job was so important. Not that the living didn't hate me for it. I used to go around reaping souls myself and pick them up and take them beyond the veil. But it was so depressing. Not for the souls, they don't care, but for the living ones they left behind. I wish I could let them know dying isn't scary, it's just the cycle of life. This, the thing is, over the vastness of time, I got very tired of that cycle. But then one day, a strange being came to me with a proposition. This being could create portals, doors to any place or world. They offered to outsource the collection of souls to an automated system using one of their doors. While it was open, it would draw in the souls of the dead, a lighthouse on the shores of the ether, if you will. In return for this, they asked for their lives to be extended. Well, actually, they asked for immortality, but that's impossible. If souls stick around too long past their expiry date, then with nothing left to tie them to their mortality, they decay into demonic forms. All life must end. Well, eventually. So while I kicked back, several generations of these self-proclaimed lords of doors came and went, enjoying their unnaturally long lives, each one agreeing in the end to submit to the limitations of life and go willingly into the ether. Until one didn't. Which brings us to your current Lord of Doors. Towards the end of what should have been their lifespan, your Lord betrayed our long-standing agreement. They said there had been some kind of incident that the door had malfunctioned and needed to be remade anew. For the door to be reconstructed, it required the touch of death to link the door to the ether. But after this new door was created and opened, the Lord kicked me inside and sealed it shut. No way for me to escape. No way for stray souls to pass on to the ether. No death among the living. I've been here, alone, ever since. But my assigned soul, it must be here. It has to be here. I tracked it to this door. It must have entered here somehow. Are you sure you haven't seen it? Sorry, guy. If a soul comes in here without a body, it disappears into the ether. Yeah, you already said that. Sooner or later, everything that begins has to end. So, there's no hope. It must still be here somewhere. He's gonna turn bad. No, 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 no. I wasted so many years searching for that soul. Decades. Centuries. I refuse to die. Uh-oh. I sense you're a little bit past your best before date. So, he's gonna become a demonic creature the gray crow okay oh my
So he hurts me when he... Ugh. Wow, this boss is tough. Death. I am going to leave because I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to do an early stream tomorrow morning and beat this. This is an amazing game, and I'm going to do it right before my little road trip. Um, let's see where it takes us. Super excited, so we know that we need to go to the summit and open up Death's Door so that we can face off with the Grey Crow, which is possibly the second to last boss, to be honest. Because the last boss has to be the Lord of Doors. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that stream. Uh, we had an excellent time. Um, we cut all the way to Death's Door and used the three giant souls to open it. So again, I am super excited about that. Um, tomorrow I will be streaming the f hopefully the final stream before we beat the game and then we can do a cleanup stream and, and if there's kind of like a new game plus or open world mode so that we can go ahead and complete the challenges and find the rest of the secrets uh, anyways I hope you guys have enjoyed what you've been seeing so far uh, let me know if you're interested in possibly seeing um, you know uh, more content for this particular game and of course as we've been talking about I'm still working on the ender lilies uh, playthrough so um, and not playthrough I'm sorry the boss guides so we still have Muriel the beloved and the blighted lord so be sure to stay tuned for those as well Again, this is an excellent game death store get it now it's on Xbox one Xbox X and uh, I guess Xbox Xbox series S and X so go check them out so let's go ahead and wrap this up today I defeated Betty the Yeti today I opened death's door and today I streamed Death Door for your viewing pleasure. What the fuck have you done lately? It's the Inhuman One signing out. I'll catch you guys next time.